Curtis at Sokolov. How did you come to start teaching at Curtis? So you had been a oh. student there, and how did you how did you start teaching there? A miracle. Oh, okay. <laughs> My life has been full of these miracles. Number one, I was still a student, and Madame Messena. I don't know if you remember. I her. do remember Madame Messena. Martha Messena. I remember her. Yeah. She became pregnant and she was going to have her first child. She had to be removed from the Curtis. She was not to be seen while her pregnancy progressed. Why was that? That sounds That's so a strange. good question. I think it's the most ridiculous <laughs> thing I ever heard. But that's the way it was in those days. How strange. Huh? You protected the children from seeing, seeing a, pregnancy. a person yeah, who's going to have a baby. Interesting, okay. So she had to take a year off. Mm -hmm. So who to find? Why me? I was, you know, low man on the totem pole. Oh. I mean, in my estimation, I always felt that way. Just look who was in my class. First of all, George. He was George just Bullett. wonderful. Yes. Yeah. And the sweetest guy on earth. Yeah, I loved him. Anyway. You remember, I of gave you to him. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that cost me a lot. Aww. But anyway, I knew that with George would be wonderful for you. Mm -hmm. And, all right, back to the story. So um, they appointed me in to take that job. Wow. That was in 36. Had you graduated from Curtis then? Or no. You were still a student. I was still a student. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Even more remarkable. I got married that year. Oh. Yeah, we were married. I was still a student, but he was finished. Mm -hmm. And is, he uh, had a job. This is Vladimir Sokolov we're talking about. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, my husband, who became Zimbalist's accompanist that year. Mm -hmm. And I got my job. Wow. See, so then we knew we could get married. Oh, see? wonderful. So we got married. Uh, and they appointed me to this job. I loved, I have had the most wonderful people in that era. Wow. Shmuel Ashkenazi, mm -hmm. uh, Aaron Roseanne. As your student. Yep. <laughs> he calls me teach. Aww. Hi, teach. <laughs> uh, three quarters of the uh, quartet, the famous Guarneri. Guarneri. Yes. Couldn't think of it. <laughs> the Guarneri Quartet. I had Mickey, I had uh, uh, John Daly, mm -hmm. who was the second violin. And what's what's the first violin? Arnold Who's, Steinhardt. Yeah, yeah. Also, they used to play for each other. Mm -hmm. Also, Jamie Lovredo. Oh, wow. Oh, he's wow. still hmm. he's so devoted. It's just touching. Jamie, I had first players from the Philadelphia who are now yeah. who were they're most of them retired. Uh, <laughs> Our little drill. Philadelphia <laughs> little background, <laughs> little background yeah. noise. That's See what okay. I mean? That's all right. <laughs> and I had, I had wonderful Benita, a great singer. Wow. I had uh, organists. I had everybody. Amazing. You know Amazing. what you get? Yeah. You get that half of them didn't practice. <laughs> Ronnie Rubin from the Philadelphia Orchestra. He's retired now. Mm -hmm. And Matt Ruggiero has died recently. He was a bassoon, no, yeah, first bassoon in the Boston Symphony. Mm -hmm. They all studied with me and they never forgot me. Um, anyway, that was my experience in in the meantime, my little pupils from outside of Curtis, Lambert, Susan, uh, Joanne Pierce, I had so many who auditioned for Curtis and got in, also played with the Philadelphia Orchestra. Yes. I've had a lot of people who've 
played with the orchestra. Yes, you have. Yeah. But that's my history. That's it. But the miracles were always one step. Serkin brought me into the mm. solo piano. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Wow. He heard all. He, I mean, he, he was auditioning people, and I had more little students than anybody else. Mm -hmm. And uh, fortunately, they did well at the auditions and got in. Wow. But they were, yeah, some of them took it twice. Some of them took it three times. Your track record really brought, brought, but it brought the attention them in. of Mr. Serkin. Yeah. Well, they did well. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't take anything away from them. They worked hard. Well, they, they needed a great teacher to get them there. Yeah, well, we, I worked hard, but that was easy. It's always been easy for me. Wow. And that I, I call that, you know. Mrs. Sokoloff, you are still teaching at Curtis. Yes, I am. Still actively teaching. I, yes, I, I, I am. I wondered if you could share the secret of how you managed to remain so active and productive. Again, luck. <laughs> luck? <laughs> no. First of all, there are a lot of people who teach who would love to teach on and on and on, sure. and things happen to them. But I'm in good health, yes. and I have my wits still <laughs> at 100, so why not? Wonderful. Why not Wonderful. keep going? Well, That's think... my great pleasure, wow. is to teach, and young ones. And it's, it's mothering, too. There's a lot of mothering. That's what Shmuel said. <laughs> He said she's just, she's also a mother. Do you think it's the love of teaching, the love of music that has kept you young all these years? Well, no, mm -hmm. I don't, because I believe other people have done it too. Mm -hmm. Have not, they've dropped out, mm -hmm. they retired, mm -hmm. or they stopped. Mm -hmm. What kept you going? The fact that I am in good health <laughs> and that I am uh, with my wits and yes. can hear and can, still do what I've always done. Do you have any health secrets for keeping... No. <laughs> no secret no. diet? No. I eat butter and I drink, I could drink milk. I mean, I'm not uh, practicing any special diet. <laughs> Maybe I use a little less salt and Wendy keeps me... She objects to every salt, a <laughs> little bit of salt and sugar that I would like to use. That's wonderful. But she helps a lot. Um, good. We, were, <laughs> we were kind of talking on the side about um, the role of women and how oh, yeah. you, you, you recommend that your female students pursue doctoral degrees for safety. Yeah. How do you feel the, the careers for women have changed over your lifetime? How, how, how has... Uh, okay, I'll give you a yeah. good example. A good example is the status of our major piano department. Mm. You take off. How many women are in that job? Only me. That's right. Yeah. Is that an illustration? Yes. Yeah. And I have felt very strongly mm -hmm. that something should have been done about this a long time ago. Mm. And when I came to school, it was the same way. Mm. There was Vengerova, and that's all mm. for the women. Why is it that we aren't considered good teachers? Why is it? What, what, was, what is this problem? Do you think prospects will change? Are they improving for women at this point? Or do you think it's still pretty much stuck in the dark ages. I think the w women in performance is very low. So still a lot of progress needs to be done on that front. Of course. Yeah. That's why I'm protective of my girls, because I know. Mm -hmm. You've got Martha Agerich at the top. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Who else? Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't agree with the others that have at the top, <laughs> that they call at the top. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's it. Yeah. Yeah. Now you see, the field is just not, not, not level. Not. Yeah. You take off the guys at the top in the 
male department, and you have a lot of pianists. Yeah. Zimmerman, you have Emmanuel X, you have, what's the name of the, oh, he's so, Murray Perrot. Sure. You have, they go on and on and on. And they're good, they're wonderful. But the women are too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I don't know what the explanation is. It's just that it's always been hard for women and it's continuing. Mm. It's improved, but it's not, near, not my department. Not nearly enough. No, in other arenas they are good, doing fine. Politics, even in politics, they're a minority. I feel very badly about being the only person of my gender in, the, in that department. Because women have a natural gift for mothering or for loving mm -hmm. children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's such a perfect spot for somebody who cares. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because they need that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They need that. Yeah, especially the young. I'm not. Uh, I'm not uh, easy. Don't think that I had a terrible reputation when I was your uh, teaching you <laughs> that I was raked in. Yeah, not but so in a motherly sense too, just like a mother, you know, who's serious about raising. Yes, their yes, children, but they want the best for them. Yeah. They, they know that I love them. Yes, that, that they that's know the that even mm -hmm. if I'm strict. Yes, yes. They do. They know that. It makes a huge difference.